What's up guys? C213 here, and this is the long-awaited iPhone 5 unboxing. So I got my knife here, we'll pop this open. We'll take a look. Unfortunately, the pre-order didn't ship out on the date I expected, so that's why I'm a week late. Um, assembled in China. But and there it is. Oh my god, look at that guys. It's a very skinny box. If you take a look at the iPhone 4 box. I have an iPhone 4. It's uh, this is a lot thicker than, than the iPhone 5 box. And I, um, you can well actually, you know what? They're about the same thickness. Wow. Okay. This is taller, obviously. Did not realize that. But you see, they're actually the same thickness. So, um, I just imagined it being thinner. So uh, this is the iPhone 5 here, guys. And as you can see on the back, it's 64 gig. I went all out, guys. All out. Um, yeah, so this is the 64 gig I'm on AT&T, and, um, so yeah, let's get in it. Let's, let's get into this box. So, uh, I don't really know which one's mine, because both me and my dad ordered a phone, so, uh, we'll see. But, um, I'm going to walk you guys through the setup, too, because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube didn't actually do that, and, um, and it's 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 a long process um, if I have to do an iCloud, but I don't have to do an iCloud backup. I am going to be syncing with my computer uh, later on in the week. So I'm just going to show you guys how to set it up. If there's any info, I won't be showing that. I mean, if there's any info, uh, personal info that I have to put in, I won't show that on the camera, but I'll show as much as I can. So here, I'll just get this in the review so you guys can see. We're popping it open. And there it is. Boy. Is that gorgeous? Look at that. I bought a screen protector already for it, so uh, I'll be putting that on later. But oh man, look at that. Take a look. Uh, so it's pretty thin. Let me grab my iPhone 4. Actually, uh, my iPhone 4 needs a couple parts right now. It's kind of it's kind of out of it. Uh, worst comes to worst, I'm gonna have to replace the the main board on here. Uh, but uh, I'm not really sure what went wrong on it. I think there's a couple. Um, a couple of things when we replace and possibly charging port problems. Uh, but anyway, here's the iPhone 4 and here's my iPhone 5. So we're going to be putting them side by side so you can take a look. And because I got the black iPhone 5, it's really apparent which one's which. And see if you can see, I'll line up the, the buttons on here so that they're lined up. And you can see that it's a lot taller of a phone. So they really made it tall from they really just added up on the screen from the top. They didn't, at least from the phone's overall height. You can see what the dimensions. The bands on the bottom are pretty close together, and these buttons line up exactly. So it's kind of just taller. Uh, they didn't kind of stretch it from either end, if you know what I mean. Um, overall, I mean, when you're comparing both together, you don't feel the weight difference. But when you really start just playing with this phone, it feels like it should be a lot denser and a lot heavier. Uh, it feels, uh, it feels like it's a little more hollow, and it's not because it actually is. It's because they use aluminum as opposed to stainless steel, which is uh, which I'm a little worried about. But this is just feels denser because it's steel. That's the steel band around that. So that's a lot of the weight. That and the battery. This one because the frame and the back are all aluminum. There's not that whole sheet of glass here. They got rid of a lot of weight. Uh, the glass is generally very dense. Um, and, and they got rid of all that weight. And you can see that mirror finish on that, that end, that chamfered edge, as they call it, right there. It's completely, you, you can see that reflection. So, um, unfortunately, I have a cover on the back of my phone. But I was going to say the Apple logo uh, is uh, a different, is, is dark uh, black there, too. So, uh, and also, you don't get the size here of the phone. You know, it doesn't say what size. I think they got rid of that after the 3G. But I know on the 3G, which is uh, what I'm currently busting right now. It's uh, it's got the you can see it says 16 gigabytes there. Um, I remember in the iPhone 3GS though they got rid of that. So overall, that's a much brighter. You can see the the microphone is up in there. It is next between the camera and the flash. The flash has been moved out a little bit, which means you get less um, shadowing and weird effects in your photos. So let's go ahead and turn it on because I think that's what everyone wants to see. Uh, you, wow, you can really see that reflection in the screen. You can see that. There's my whey protein over there. You can move that out the way. So, 
overall, I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, there's a lot of changes that I don't like in iOS 6, and to be honest with you, that's why I'm going to be sticking with my iPad 1 in terms of some, some functions, like, you know, maps and some of those other things. If you're going on long trips or whatever that like that, I'll be mapping those out on my iPad because that's still running iOS 5. And as from what I heard, it won't be getting the update. So, wow, you can really see that IR going off there. What is that? What is that? That's really weird, actually. That That's really weird. Can you see that? You can totally see that on camera, but you can't see that with my... I can't see that with my eye. I, I have no idea what that is. That's actually really weird. <laughs> that's so weird. I, I, I cannot see that at all. What I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. I do not know what that is. I'm going to start doing the setup on this, and then I'll go through the box. I mean, everyone's seen the box already. I mean, the YouTube is practically swamped with all the videos, so I won't bore you too much with the box. So let's just slide here, and then you'd see this little language thing. Obviously, we've all seen this before. Yep. So, uh, we'll just choose English. Hit Next. Uh, then it's giving me some options here. The United States. Choose a Wi-Fi network. I got a network here. I want to put in my password. Hit join. It should join. All right. Hit next. Activating my iPhone. So I'm activating by zip code. So uh, I'm going to need to put in my social security and my zip code. So I'll put that off screen here. Alright guys, this is the next screen. I have entered my social security and my zip code. This is simply an agreement screen. You agree to the terms and hit agree. I agree. And it says it may take a few minutes, so we'll see what happens here. Alright guys, so now just enable location services. And then set up as new iPhone um, yeah I don't really have a backup so I'm gonna be setting up as a new iPhone because my iPhone 4 the last time it backed up it didn't really work so we'll set this up and then if I really want to I could always restore it from a backup of my iPhone off my computer yeah I don't understand look at that I, I, I just noticed this. I haven't seen this on any other video what is that blinking um, I that is that is only on camera I guarantee you that's an IR blink in infrared that is not visible to the naked eye at all. That's supposed to be the proximity sensor, and I don't know what that is at all. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so I can sign in. So I'll sign in with my Apple ID here. You can see that. Uh, sign in here. Okay. And you can now agree to the uh, the iCloud services agreement. So I agree. And it may take a few minutes, it says, but it usually doesn't. And use iCloud. So there's some cool animations going on there. Yeah, let's use iCloud. And we can back up my iCloud. Well, let's decide to back up to iCloud. Uh, do I want to do that, though? Let's see. Hmm. I can back up to my computer. I don't know. Let's just choose backup to iCloud and then I can always change it. Because my computer is out of space right now. Literally out of space. I have a MacBook Air with a 128 gig hard drive and it's using every, every bit of it. I have like 13 megabytes free and that's not healthy at all for my computer. But um, yeah, so use, my, use Find My iPhone. I definitely want that service. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's basically showing me my contact information. Um, new outgoing messages and FaceTime calls will be sent from my number. Uh, great. Uh, I think that seems pretty good. All right. So now I have two addresses. I have my email address at me.com and my at iCloud. Use Siri. So this is the first time I've had a phone that has actually Siri on it. 
I have an iPhone 4 which I jailbroke. Uh, I jailbroke all my devices, um, and that had S Siri on there, a Siri port, but it wasn't very reliable. Um, and then I've used Siri also on my iPad, but again, it was with Siri port and wasn't very reliable. So we'll see how this goes. I've heard you know that Google's voice thing, whatever it is called, it actually works better. And I've tried it a couple times, and it seems to work a little faster. But there's certain things that Siri can do that that the the Google uh, voice commands just can't. So um, yeah, start using iPhone. This is the last step. So now I'm on my home screen, and it says "Welcome to AT&T." It's my first text message on my iPhone 5. Welcome to AT&T. Learn about your phone. Find out how to access voicemail. Check your plan. It's all available. Blah blah. blah. So. Uh, We've set up the phone now, so I think to do the rest of the package justice, I'm going to open up the box and take a look at the rest of the box. I know you guys probably seen the rest of the box already, but we'll just go through it real quick. There it is. There's the box, and that is a very gorgeously organized box. And I really do like the clear, um, wow, that actually looks really nice. The clear little case this comes in for the the ear pods. Again, this is not a very practical case because it's one of these once you open it and then you can't close it again kind of cases. But I, I do like the ear pods. I won't be opening them right now. I'll be doing a separate review video on these. So again, same same one amp charger. Uh, nothing special. Um, and this is the new. Uh, what are they? The lightning connector, right? Is that what they call it? So from what I read, it's actually not any faster, at least the cable itself, um, because it still only supports USB 2.0. Um, and the the uh, connector is not, the only reason it's really special at all is, is that it's, it's reversible, which uh, is cool. Now, I think the reason that the sync speeds have been shown to be faster with a computer is because the processor um, is a lot faster than this thing. It's got a lot more RAM. That, that was, that's that been noted with um, every generation of phone, really, uh, of iPhone, that, that the sync times are always faster on them. You know, uh, from, the, from the iPhone first generation to the 3G, then to the 3GS, people noticed great improves in the, in the times for syncing. And then when it came to the 4, I, I noticed huge improvements because I only had a 3G. I kind of choose the. I try to get the best phones, so I get not the S models, if you know what I'm saying. I try to get the the next model, the the best one. So I got my 3G after the first gen, and then I got the four, and then I got the uh, I got the five. So I've noticed the the biggest changes, and definitely are sync speeds. I'm someone who usually tries to sync everything to their computer. I know some people really don't like that, but uh, I I find it to be uh, perfect for my uses. But now that I have iCloud, I also like to back up to iCloud. Um, although I do use Time Capsule, so I have both options. Um, if both of my hard disk uh, drives were to fail, it's for some reason, I still have that online version that I can back up my phone, uh, you know, resync my phone to should my phone get erased as well. So that's very nice. Uh, that's all that comes in the box. Although I am excited to hear that in this little package this time, they now include a what? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know what this is at all. I all I can tell you is I I saw this uh, video online that showed the iPhone 5 coming with a SIM renewal tool, but I guess they don't include that in if unless you buy the non-contract version, which really annoys me. Oh well, I still have the one for my 3G, but it's a little it was what I was looking forward to. So basically, what comes in here is your standard little thing. I notice it's a very it doesn't open like Folio anymore. It just says hello and it shows you some brief features on how to set it up and then there's the, the info and then there's your small little stickers so overall it's uh... it's a pretty simplistic box not much in it the, in the, the, the main attraction obviously is the iphone um, which i will be doing a, a thorough test and, and review i'll be doing a review video in, in a couple couple days hopefully this weekend so Again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and any comments or questions about the iPhone 5. I know I'm kind of late on this, but any questions or comments on it, uh, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.